The bustling metropolis of Shenzhen was at the forefront of China's economic reforms. Once a small fishing village just north of Hong Kong, it has exploded into a booming city of more than 10 million people. It is reportedly one of the fastest growing cities in the world. In 1979, China's then paramount leader, Deng Xiaoping, designated Shenzhen as China's first special economic zone. Tens of billions of dollars in foreign investment have flowed into the city since then. But Shenzhen's rapid growth has overwhelmed its sewage system. The city produces more than one million tons of sewage each day. Much of it is discharged directly into rivers and drains into the ocean. These rivers eventually flow into the Dong River, which provides drinking water for Shenzhen and Hong Kong. An official for Shenzhen's Water and River Bureau said in 2007 that the city planned to build or expand as many as 20 sewage treatment plants. He said the projects will go a long way toward improving water quality. But signs of improvement are scarce. Xiao Cai is a factory worker who recently arrived in Shenzhen. He says he holds his nose every day when he crosses this bridge because of the smell. This longtime Shenzhen resident, surnamed Zhao, says the water used to be clean and full of fish. Now, he says the fish are gone. On hot days, he says people who live nearby don't open their windows because of the smell. Nevertheless, these highly polluted waterways are still officially considered suitable for use. Nearby farmers use river water to irrigate their crops. One grower told RFA that the fruit and vegetables grown here are ultimately shipped to Shenzhen and Hong Kong. This retired official, named Li, says the area developed too quickly. He says at first, environmental concerns were ignored. Buildings sprang up without proper planning for sewage and wastewater. Now, China faces the challenge of trying to reverse three decades of environmental neglect and indifference.